right. Yeah, guys, this might be uh, the wrong lineups. I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it, and um, we're not winning. <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna be a prediction because fuck it. Usually we have them, but today we won't. We're not winning. Always a treat to see a daytime ball game here, Fenway Park in Boston, Mass. Ought to be a good one here between the Minnesota Twins and the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox baseball is next. David Price is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. What do we need to know here, EK? Well, guys, remember, he's got five pitches to work with. So that really makes it difficult for the hitter. He can change speeds. Ball you got in and out. Seven not a lot of fun for the hitters. How do you do that? You... Eduardo Nunez oh. heads for the batter's <laughs> box, <laughs> and we are just about ready for <laughs> some <laughs> evening baseball. Designated hitter, <laughs> number nine. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't even know. Water. Swing and a flare hit toward the right. Betts has a play. That one away. That's gonna be a stop. <laughs> In the second spot tonight. Settling in now, Joe Maurer. He'll get to take his first Joe cuts here. Maurer. Rice is ready. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. There is Pedroia. Throw to first is in time as Maurer becomes out number two. Pretty nice way to start your evening. Two pitches, two outs. You can bet. Pitch count will not be a factor if he can keep that pace up. Miguel Sano will stand in and as you can see the numbers away from home he's been much better once he gets out on the road sends that one out of play for strike one chased a low ball there and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2 and this is a guy who will not get cheated up there a swing and a miss that retires the side and there. that will do yeah. it down go the twins in order and now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Tom's turn. A shitty pitcher. My turn. Rick from Alaska, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, EK? Well, guys, take a look at that whip. Around 1-3, which is pretty much league average. So he's been very serviceable all year long. Mookie Betts yes. comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. This should be good. Hit on the ground is short. Escobar is up with it. One away. Dustin Pedroia will stand in for the first time now, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark to begin play. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. But this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Ah, not the greatest at no. bat thus far as he Great. misses that pitch in third and falls behind we got? nothing in two now. And he can't put Bryce Brenton the right field. As they begin okay. play here tonight. Okay. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And the thing about baseball is that each new day brings a new opportunity. So we'll see if these guys are up to the task here. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. Throw gets him two down. No. Batting third. Xander Bogarts will stand in now as we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Into the windup and the pitch. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside but went around for strike one. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with. Meanwhile here this ball is giving a pretty good ride out to deep left field and that is going to clear the wall. Home run. Right. Have some ass. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. Number 11 for him on the season. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Right? X-Man. So I'm going to say the X-Men power is to hit one one. 
And a good swing right there gets him the first run of the ball game here in the bottom of the first. And we always talk about the importance of getting off to a fast start, so you can be sure they're pretty happy about this one. David Ortiz will stand in now, happy that this series is at home, no doubt, as you see his splits right there. <laughs> he was ready. He was ready. I'm going. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. There is Dozier. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Fast. Leading off the inning, Brian Dozier, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Brian turned on down the line, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. And, and there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Yeah, well, Earl is a well-liked umpire all-around baseball by both pitchers and hitters. The reason for that, he's consistent, and his zone is kind of what you hope for. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Max Kepler will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it down in the 220s to begin the ball game. Come on, you look at the numbers on this guy, and you have to wonder why does he continue to be in the lineup? Or did he get one hit in the last 10 games? Come on. On to first, and the price is right here, two away. Robbie Grossman will stand in now, and you can see the splits on your screen. He's been exceptionally good against left-handed pitching to this point. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bam. Eduardo Escobar will stand in now. And as you can easily tell from the splits, he's really struggled away from home. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Oh. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. Yeah. Bold strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, 1-2. and two. Red Sox on top in the early going. 1-0 nope. as we play the second. And that'll even the count here. It's now 2-2 two and two to the Minnesota shortstop. Hot shot on the ground is short. Gloved by Bogarts. Oh, and the throw to first just about takes him out as it skips up and over him. And he'll make it up to third here thanks to the throwing miscue. And we'll see how they want to score this play. Not, not the error. Kurt Suzuki will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. Price pauses. First pitch on the way. Swinging a soft liner. And to score is the runner from third. It's one to one. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. You know all the infielders are taught to try and knock a ball down in that RBI situation. If you're on the mound, I don't think he had any choice. This one comes back at him and gets him flushed. By the time they all scramble around to find the ball, they have no chance of preventing that run from scoring. Here's Byron Buxton now, as he'll go after the first pitch here and pop one up. What? Over toward the left side of the infield. Oh, and he can't reel it in out there. What happened? Eduardo was right on, wasn't I? Gets a shot now with deuces all around. Two on, two out here in inning number two. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Oh, one count, here's the pitch. Hit hard towards center, and that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the run is in to score from second. In to score is the runner from first. Into the box now, Joe Maurer. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And a swing by Maurer, but they got him out in front as this is going to find the seats in right, a foul ball. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swing and a liner. And that's through into center field, base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third, make it 5-1. to one. Miguel Sano steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. 
Ani oh, takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Yeah, I don't. And we'll have okay, to leave it there play. as this is strike three, okay, and that good. will retire the side. Nine men come to the plate, however, five of them score. On now to the bottom of the second, it's the Twins five oh, and the Red Sox one. You fucking tie. <laughs> Hanley Ramirez will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Get hard back up the middle, and that finds its way through a leadoff single for Ramirez. Jackie Bradley Jr. will stand in now, just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season. Slapped hard the opposite way. In there, the base hits. Ready now, Brock Holt, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Line toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. Oh! <laughs> and no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Another base hit right there. Their third hit in a row, and now the bases are loaded here with still nobody out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. One there. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. Striding into the box, Sandy Leone. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, he's batting lefty right now, but does it matter? He can hit from either side of the plate. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. On the power, it's a double play, and that ends the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local station. Stop making it sound like this is a TV. This isn't TV. This isn't TV. This is game. Brian Dozier is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. It's Price into his motion. First pitch on its way. And they just oh, and a hearty oh, cut there to begin that. the at bat. It's nothing in one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Bogarts onto the grass. One down. Now batting. Right Max Kepler Max. stands in. Kepler. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Cut fastball inside. Ball one. Why? But we would do that. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. One two hit. Now to the plate, Robbie Grossman. Number 64 is into the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over in right. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. That legit. So legit. Legit story. Stepping in, Eduardo Escobar. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. And, and it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here to mix in a take now again. And he's bunting here with two strikes, but he misses, and that's a rather weak out number two. Swung on and hit deep to left center. Ranging back is Bradley. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Twin strand a pair. They're still out in front, five to two. Number 64 settles into the box for his Leading first chance. Right fielder. I was just waiting for it to be number done. Number 64. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Grounded up the first baseline. Mowers there, and he'll take this to the bag. Of three unassisted for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Flipped out the other way towards short, but right at the shortstop for the second out. The shortstop, number two, Xander Bogarts. Stands in again. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first plate appearance. I can't imagine they're going to give him anything to hit this time around. On the ground to third. On to first. And can you believe it? A three-pitch inning. And just like that, the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail 5-2. Byron, Byron Buxton, Buxton is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Center fielder. Back to work now is Price as he gets ahead to start the inning. It's strike one. This is a guy that's got to understand his abilities here. He's got the speed to beat out any ground ball, but he's taking uppercut swings, trying to go yard. the opposite. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Yeah, when you throw fastballs in the air, first. Into the box, Eduardo Nunez, and he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. And oh, look out! Look out! In and nearly took his. Look out! I'll tell you, he's already hit one guy. He is not afraid to work inside. No, and as much as I hate to say it, pitchers have just as much right to the inside part of the plate as you do. Hit hard to short. Bogarts has it. What the fuck? And a poor throw there pulls the first baseman off the bag, and they're going to hang an error on Ramirez. Oh, Joe, Joe Maurer will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second two. Yeah. To second for one. Miguel Sano will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early? Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. David Ortiz will get his cuts leading off. To the bottom of inning number four, we go. The Twins are in front, five to two. And there now is David Ortiz. As we told you, he'll start things out here in the home fourth. Nolasco steps into his windup. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. It's like go after this. And oh, he definitely <laughs> broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. And a swing and a miss by Ortiz as he can't make contact there. One away. Hanley Ramirez drives in after getting a base hit and later scoring the first time around. Into the seats, 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Kepler sprinting after it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Digging in, Jackie Bradley Jr. He reached on a single in his first try. Smoke toward third. Sano is there. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. Down in order go the Red Sox, and the deficit remains 5-2. Brian Dozier will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Drill down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. Oh, I know what you're doing. So a ringing double here to kick off inning number five. And as the graphic there illustrates, his total for the year places him second best on the Twins roster. Yeah, he's really contributed to the team this year. Here he is on second again with a chance to score on just a single. Robbie Grossman. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Robbie Grossman. He singled his last time up. 
That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. The 0 1 on its way. On the ground to the left side. Two is left. Shaw in time to first, and there are two away. Eduardo Escobar will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. One now a check strikes. swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And now here, one and two. This is a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Twins wind up stranding one, and it remains five to two. Leading off the inning, Brock Holt, and they'll need him to get something going here. And right here is an important time for them to get back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. I don't know, that's weird. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. A quick out number one. Now batting. Travis Shaw steps in for his second at bat. A fielder's choice his first time around. Nolasco looks in. Here's the first pitch. Chop foul right at home plate. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. I just thought the was Nike on your picture, but I thought we'd see the details. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And he will make the play. Two away now. You just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row, he said. Now in the box, Sandy Leon. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Yeah, he's got he's great numbers right, right here. Hitting over 350 against righties process. where he just rakes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The baseballs were made at it. I was <laughs> expecting you to just view the situation. Hit hard toward first. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail five, two. Kurt Suzuki will stand in now to lead things off in the Minnesota six. Number eight, Kurt Suzuki. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first down. Well, in most cases, once he kicks this thing, it's going to be a sure error. But luckily for him, he's got a diesel tanker headed down the first baseline. So he's able to gather this thing up and still get the out at first. Byron Buxton stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Tap foul at home plate. Are you winning in the fucking pitching game? Pulled high in the air out to left field. Holt has it in his tracks. Two gone. The batter, number nine. Eduardo Nunez gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. Oh, come on. <laughs> a solo shot here to left. Number 13 for him on the year as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. Price sets his sights. Here's the 0-1. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. There you see one of the best swings in the <laughs> And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But the Twins add on thanks to this solo shot. Ew. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. Ew. It's the Twins six and the Red Sox. Now Number 64 right. will dig in. 0 for 1 Sox. in the ball game. Right fielder. Number 64. I can say play of the game. A fastball here and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. 
Here's the 01. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. On the ground up the middle. Escobar moving to his right. And a spin throw gets him at first. A fine play there for the first down. Nicely done there at short as you see him ranging to his left. He takes it on his forehand side and then flips it to first for the out. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. As this is grounded foul off to the left, it's strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Left side, to his left, Sano. Throw on to first, he'll take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Xander Bogarts will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him We are going that day, folks. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Solo shot here to left, his second of the game, and with that, it's now a six to three ball game. Here comes the DH now, David Ortiz. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogart. Part of the order, three, four, five. That's the away. Yes. All right. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Twins on top in this one as we take a look now at our game summary through the first six innings of play. Miguel Sano is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Up the middle and off the pitcher's leg, but he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Digging in now, Brian Dozier. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. One out, nobody on. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Trying to strike him out for the second time. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. Even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. To two balls and two strikes now. And a cut fastball here that he started off a bit too far inside. It nearly got him. Well, it looked like he had things in control to start him out. And that he's running from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. And that last one wasn't even close. Now at the plate, Max Kepler. He flew out in his last at bat. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Holt is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Pretty painless half of the inning. All Hanley Ramirez will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Not close. It's 2-0. and oh. And at least he's taken a few pitches here. Well, that's more than the rest of these guys can say. And he gets the slider over here. It's 2-1 and one now. Oh, and that's a dangerous pitch right there. But in the end, it worked out well for him. I don't think he was looking breaking ball. And that turned out to be a beauty. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's 3-1. and one. This is line to left. Oh, oh and he fun. misses it. Up my ass. Around first, heading for second now. And he is in there. Ding! Like a belt up his ass, he's like, damn right. Jackie Bradley Jr. 
comes forward now, and he's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run standing behind him in the on-deck circle. Find a way to get it done. That's what it's all about right here. Give your guys a chance to make something big happen. Nolasco comes set. 0-1 pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Oh, and he misses the stop sign there as he heads for the plate. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Now scores from second. Now a 6-4 ball game. Well, that's what he's done with all season. Let's swing the bat with runners in scoring position. He drives in another one here on the RBI double. Game's being nice. Try to hit that one way up in there. Out in front of it, strike one. Sent on the ground out to second. Dozier fields it faster, Holt. And reined in one away. Well, if you're going to make an out, you have to make a production. Make an out. And that moves a man up to third now, which is one away. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Dozier has it. Throw on to first to be in time, but meanwhile the lead shrinks to one here on the RBI ground ball. Sandy Leone stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton moves over, and that God retires the side. So two runs on just one hit in the inning, one twin error, and no one left on base. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Twins six and the Red Sox five. No, it's not me. Robbie Grossman comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Swing and a liner, but foul. Price gets his sign. Here's the 0-1. And the 0-1's a ground ball for Pedroia at second base. Scooped up. Go on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout, and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Yeah, he wasn't so sure that was the right call. And looking at it again right here, I don't know if I can tell for sure either. We'll wait to see what the guys in the dugout say after reviewing this play a couple of times, probably. Safe. 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 Yeah, okay, we're good. <laughs> Eduardo Escobar oh, standing stole my in as he swings down on the first pitch and sends a chopper over to third. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Well, it's definitely a tale of two extremes so far as you check out his line. A lot of strikeouts, that's the good news. But a lot of other crooked numbers are up there, too. He <laughs> get to third. On to first, and Suzuki's retired two away. Byron Buxton. Byron Stepped Buxton. in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. He had a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Mm. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Minnesota, as it remains a six. I never get punished. Number 64 will step in. He's 0 for 2 to this point. First delivery to him on the way. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0 and 1. What do you guys think the plan is here to start the eighth inning? Well, I'd bet they'll let him go until he gives up a base runner, and then after that, I think you've got to make a move. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Buxton has a beat on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The second baseman Dustin Pedroia stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. You know, when you watch Pedroia play day in and day out, I always think about that memorable 2013 season. I mean, this is a guy who hurts his thumb on opening day, but he played 160 games that season, and he led the Sox to another World Series title. Xander Bogarts stands in again here with two home runs already to his name in this one. And you know what, Matt? He's just made it look so easy out there. I think they've got to change their approach right here. Use some caution or something. Rounded down the third baseline. 
And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. Be careful, David Ortiz will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. <laughs> behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Trying to hold the lead. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Even though this is still just a one-run game, this thing could get ugly in a hurry. So if you've got an out pitch, you better pull it out of the bag right now. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. Minnesota leads this one 6-5. to five. Eduardo Nunez will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. Hard hit ball to second. And there's a base hit. And this could wind up as an important insurance strike here as the leadoff man's aboard to start the ninth. <laughs> Joe Maurer comes to the plate here, and we'll see how they play it with that leadoff man on base. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Back to first, and Maurer is retired on the double play. Miguel Sano struggling so far in this one. He'll look to erase his 0 for 4 ball game with a base hit right here. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Into the box now, Brian Dozier. He's one for four for the game. First pitch putter that's by him for strike one. Well, now you got to regroup after the two out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so the inning's not over yet. Not by a long shot. The price has got it, and the side is retired. Wow. Twins wind up stranding one. They lead it, however, it's six to five. Hanley Ramirez. We'll start it off here in their half of the ninth, and no sign of a reliever. They're going to let him try to finish this one off. Well, he's been brilliant so far, so why not see if he can take it the distance? It just doesn't happen these days very often. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. Jackie Bradley Jr. Ready for another at-bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. Good zip to the fastball there by Nolasco, and it's nothing in one. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at-bat for not only the pitcher, but the hitter as well, especially when you've got a good hitter up there. Hit hard on the ground to second, and a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Brock Holt will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the ad bat. It's nothing in one. No. Hit hard back up the middle, and that'll get down for a two out single. Who's up? Oh, Shaw comes to the plate now with the tying run at first. So they'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. Here comes the first pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, maybe it was a little surprising that he How even went out there for the ninth the inning. Team and he gets the job team. done, and he finishes off the complete game win. Always find a way. Always find a way. Oh, nice move. And we both left our pitch in the game. <laughs> oh my gosh, the last one is the the game. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one run no, victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. So, who's done it? 
you guys. And fellas, as so always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, maybe a little disappointing that he could only get three quarters of the cycle, especially since he got the two hardest ones out of the way. But all in all, still a great offensive performance. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire well, crew, I'm Matt Maskers, and this has been a presentation of MLB The Show. Next week, For more, don't out. forget to check out theshownation.com. Well, the Twins are victorious in this one, six to five. Good night I'll from Fenway. Final line score for our ball game tonight. Sense. For the victorious twins, <laughs> I don't think six runs, runs, ten hits, one error, we left seven men on base. Oh, yes, sir. And stop. And thanks. For the Red Sox, oh, five runs on nine Shh. hits. Shh. Bang, 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 they left bang, five bang, runners bang, on base. Bang, 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 a reminder that extra green line... Guys, like the video, go on, both man, subscribe. Because he can grow stuff. Use the Fenway stuff. Mel service is available at the Yankee Station. Located on Brookline Avenue, now, within walking distance back. of Fenway Park. There are two vendors of the same person. What the fuck? Uh, the... Well, that's the hit of the pitch. Oh, yep. That was good. Yeah, you picked the best one. I wish I could go down. Right there. That's what